Welcome to a brand new episode of the Transfer Talk, where we'll be discussing the latest Palace transfer rumours of the day. So without further ado, let's get into it. According to various sources, Palace have had a bid accepted by QPR for the winger Ibrici Ezi, in which the fee will rise to £19.5 million for the 22-year-old. Ezi will have a medical in the next few days and personal terms will be agreed by both parties. It seems like it is happening. We've been talking about Ezzy for so long. Fulham came into play. Then Palace had another bid for Ezzy, which was rejected um, in afternoon, according to reports. And now it seems like their fee has been agreed for a breach Ezzy. Hopefully, everything goes smoothly from now on. Because as you know with Palace, I wouldn't be surprised if Ezzy somehow goes and fails a medical or... QPR gets another bid from another player, West Brom, because West Brom are now involved as well. And that's why Palace have made sure that their bid was put through because, yes, Fulham were involved, but West Brom came into the play last minute. So hopefully Palace beat both of them clubs, have a bid accepted and go on from there. But as it seems like it could be happening soon, hopefully by next week we can talk about the signing of Ezzy rather than all these transfer rumours. The next rumour is on John philippe Mateta. According to The Guardian, Palace are also in talks with Mainz over Mateta after an opening bid of around £40 million for the French striker was rejected, but negotiations are still continuing. So we talked about Mateta yesterday, the striker who's only scored three goals but has had a long-term injury. Seeing that Palace have actually put in a bid, the fee that we're talking about yesterday was around €15 million Euros that Mainz wanted and Palace had a £14 million bid rejected. So it seems that Palace are not too far away from the valuation and we could see this one happening soon as well, which is crazy because this will happen all at once. If Palace do go put in another bid and if the £14 million bid was true, you hope and you expect Palace to go and get the player because from the reports, it doesn't seem that Palace are too far away. And hopefully, as I said, this one can get done soon and that'll be the striker problem solved. And Mateta, as I've said, six foot three striker in previous episodes, a six foot three striker who um, is good in air, left foot, right foot, very powerful headers, very powerful shot. So I feel like it'll be a risk, of course, because of his long-term injury. But it is a risk worth taking, um, considering that we have no other options up front. The next rumour is on Emil Smith-Rowe. According to Independent, Arsenal midfielder Rowe is subject to interest from Monaco, Palace and Fulham. It is unclear yet whether Arsenal could be tempted to consider a permanent move with Arteta himself saying he was excited to work with Smith-Rowe. He's an attacking midfielder, can also play down the right-hand side, born in Croydon, so very close to Palace. And Arsenal, as the report suggested, are not too sure what to do with him because they could send him out on loan for another year or potentially sell him on a permanent deal. But if it is a permanent deal, how much would he cost? He's only 20 years old, as I've said. He's been out on loan at Huddersfield, um, where he's played there as well. So for Palace... It could be an interesting one because we've already basically closing in on Ezzy as we've been talking about. And then there's a Ryan Fraser rumours, um, which could be happening soon. So when we have the two of them done and completed, fingers crossed soon, then what happens with ML Smith? Because even with Ezzy, there's complications on how he fits the side. But yeah, having three attacking midfielders, where do you play Zaha? Where do you play them three? It'll be complicated. But Palace do have interest in the player who has been at Arsenal and is very highly rated. So it would be a very good move, but a very difficult one as well for Palace. Well, that's it for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. As always, if you have, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so that I miss out on future content. And until next time, up the Palace.